we do byron and isn't this beautiful look at the light that is on them so i was talking about the light making leopards looking good but this is absolutely beautiful we've got a nice herd that is drinking on the perfect side of Biffelzuk dam for us to be able to see them in this golden light so isn't this nice now i didn't think we would see them because of the wind that's up i would have thought that these guys potentially would be in a bit of a thicket but it seems as though down on Biffelzuk dam actually where we're sitting it's a little bit sheltered from the wind so they might be why they are here at the moment and i wonder if these are not the same tracks for the herd that i was following just now could also be the same herd that taylor had this morning it seems as though biffles hook has been a good place to look for elephants the last few days you can see there's a young one nudging away trying to get milk from its mother it's getting a little bit old to be drinking and that's why the trunk and the head is now actually getting in the way and it's battling to be able to get to the teats you'll find when they're younger they're much smaller and they can just put their trunk over their head and be able to get to the teats no problem but when mom is drinking like that and the angle of her forelegs you can see not easy to get under and towards where the milk is shame little one are you struggling i wouldn't be surprised we hear a big moan and complain shortly and often the babies when they can't get the milk will start to complain a little bit but look at that isn't that magnificent We get very spoiled sometimes with things like this and we were saying we wanted a great sighting to finish off our cycle and well Seb I think that's about as good as you can ask for Ellie's in the late afternoon light having a drink is always a beautiful sight now I don't think these Ellie's are going to actually swim I think these Ellie's are probably in all likelihood going to drink and then move on you generally find it's the young males or, or bigger males that tend to swim a little bit but Either way, it is beautiful, and we've got you just in time. I imagine these elephants have only just arrived at the dam, given that they're still drinking after this period of time that we've been sitting here. So, got timed this absolutely perfectly. Oh, and there's a hippo snorting at us. And there's our hippo. Hippo is just having a little snort as it sees us and the elephants. Now, Amir, you're wondering if. Uh, the elephants if it's true that they never forget well yes Amir that is true they will always remember where water is food places that they can go and then certain experiences that they've had and that's why areas where elephants are persecuted um, extensively they tend to be a lot more on the aggressive side than the elephants in a place like the Sabi Sands where these guys are left to do their thing and are not chased around they're not hunted they're in no way disturbed and that's why they're so comfortable with our presence so they do remember for as long as they're alive they've got a very large brain much like our brain is very big and they're able to then process all kinds of different things and so their intelligence is as good as it gets and they are probably the most intelligent animal out here maybe baboons would be a little bit more on the intelligence side but Ellie's are definitely one of the most intelligent we have it's actually been an afternoon filled with our intelligent animals byron had baboons I'm not talking about byron himself but byron and his baboons both are intelligent creatures and then the hyenas and now the yellies so it's been a good display of all our more intelligent animals this afternoon look at that little one are you still working out how this thing works <laughs> hmm? interesting to watch when they're down at water now we've got to chase some birds we've got to make sure everybody knows we're boss a little trunk feeling around i think it sprayed more water on it than it actually drank you can see there's water all over its head very cute now you can see some of the adults are starting to go up towards that torchwood but the light on them is insanely good wow there's a bit of dust bathing going on on the right there, Seb, which is quite nice. I don't know if you can see it there. You can see a bit of dust being thrown around. And look at that. I always love when they dust bathe. It's like these ghosts in amongst the clouds of dust. Very cool. What we might do is now that they're starting to leave a little bit, they might go and feed off that torchwood. So I think I'm going to go around, Seb, and we're going to get a little closer to them now that they've stopped drinking. I'm hoping that they'll just stay there and we'll be able to get a little on the closer side. Obviously just pulled up onto this side when we saw them drinking because we were super excited to see them. Am I good to go back there, Seb? It's no, no little lurking stumps that might 
cause any trouble. Now, while I reposition and get myself into a closer place, let's go across to Byron, who I believe the time and not a live breasted roller.